Nemo. Hello there, I'm Nemo. And as I am a marine biologist, you probably know that I do care about the cradle of life, which is the ocean. Unfortunately, unfortu unfortunately, 8 million tons of plastic end up in our oceans every year. And life in plastic, it is not fantastic. Single-use plastic is still very present in our everyday life, and that is a problem. For this reason, in this episode of Curiosité, we are going to have some fun making edible water pods and sauce packets using the process of reverse verification. We also discuss the potential application of this plastic-free packaging. Let's do it. Whew! Today we're going to use the process of reverse verification, which is the reverse of spherification, also known as No, 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 that's not true. I'm, I'm sorry. This is not even funny. Why did I write this? Spherification is a technique used in molecular gastronomy to produce liquid core hydrogel beads. And to do this, you mix the substance you want to encapsule inside an hydrogel layer with sodium alginate, a substance used by algae to reinforce their cell walls. You take this solution and you drip it inside a solution of calcium chloride or calcium glutamate. When the two solutions meet, a molecular reaction occurs leading to the formation of a gel-like substance. In regular spherification, the gelation occurs inside the sodium alginate drop. So if you wait long enough, the entire drop will become jelly-like. And it's totally edible, you can eat it. Ah, it's weird, it's like eating water. In reverse verification, we invert the sodium and the calcium solution. Whoop. And now the gelation happens outside the drop, while the inside remains liquid. Okay, well, this doesn't look as good as I was expecting, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. Ah, look at that. Ooh. Once you have made your little pods, you can clean them in a, uh, a little dish of normal water. Since they are mostly water, it's very hard to find them because they have the same refractive index of water. But if you keep looking, you, you'll end up finding them. So this one doesn't look very good, but I think you can grasp the idea um, behind spherification. I'm not an expert in this, but... Yeah, it's, it's fun though. Yeah, you can see it's pretty solid, yeah? Well, mine is quite flat. <laughs> but yeah, you got it. Oh no, it's leaking. Ah, no. I think I pierced it. Anyway, um, okay. So I think the moral of this story is don't eat Tide Pods kids eat water pots oh i just i just bit my tongue and i know what you're gonna say nemo i can take these pods in my backpack to go to school they're gonna burst and wet all my books true but the potential application of this hydrogel packaging is to replace single-use plastic and you should not use single-use plastic to go to school in the first place I see several applications where this plastic-free packaging could shine. For example, sport events and festivals where people have to hydrate themselves very quickly on the go, but also as a substitute packaging for those sauce packets that you get for your french fries or your sushi, for example. Imagine the amount of plastic which is being used and wasted for those occasions. My water pots didn't look that great, but maybe with sauce packets we'll be more lucky. Who knows? Okay, I just mixed some ketchup with calcium chloride. Let's try to make a little bubble. Well, 
Okay, let's make a little bubble. Oh, I think it's working pretty well already. It has a weird shape though. Hey. It's like a little poop. Okay, let's try to make something bigger. Something like this maybe? Ooh, look at that. This one looks pretty good. Ooh, I wanna try with so many things now. Look how good this looks. Wow, look at that. Ooh, perfect. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, no, I broke it. <laughs> I, I broke it, so I put it back in the sodium alginate solution so it can rebuild its wall again. I think I didn't leave it enough in it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take the ketchup out. Here we go. Ooh. That's... Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff around it. Oop. Oh no, I broke it. I think I broke it. <gasps> I broke this one too. I'm breaking everything. Everything is breaking up. Ah! Okay, okay. This is harder than what I thought. But I have a surprise that maybe have worked. Oh, I was maybe too ambitious. Ah! I made a giant water pod that looks like an alien slime. It looks disgusting. I tried, I tried. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm doing something wrong. Oop. Well, it doesn't look like that bad. Hmm. It's a bit disgusting. I don't want to eat that. This one doesn't look too bad. Now, I also tried soy sauce. The only problem is that soy sauce contains a lot of salt. And it might compromise the overall chemical reaction and I'm not sure if it's gonna work so let's try cool thing of soy sauce is that it's very black so we're gonna see where my pods are let's try with a little drop Ooh, didn't work yeah, kinds of work just breaking a lot yeah just not as good as I was hoping <laughs> this is so bad I'm so bad at this well maybe if you go fast it works doesn't look too bad. Let's try another one, but smaller maybe. Now I have to wait a little bit. <laughs> okay, they're very, very fragile. I really would like to say that I like how things turned out to be, um, but this is not working very well. I'm breaking everything every time. Um, yeah, so I don't like this. You could say that I hate this so much. I'm out of here. Well, soy sauce doesn't work for me, so I'm gonna try with some sweet and sour sauce. Oops. Oops. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Super good. A big bowl, like this. Oh, look at this one. Doesn't look too bad, eh? But it's true that now I have two sauces that look like each other. Ketchup and sweet sour. It's not very aesthetic, I'm sorry. Look how cute this little one is. Oh. Oh. oh no, I broke it. I think, did I? I think I did. This is very annoying. It's like I'm killing all of my babies. Let's try, let's see what happens. Worst case scenario, nobody's gonna punish me, right? Okay, so this is the result of my <laughs> very bad experiment today. I'm clearly not, um, gifted for this kind of things but but well my water pods looks pretty bad but the other sauce packets don't look that bad right you can touch them they don't i don't want to touch it yeah, maybe but they don't really break so it's good so here you go you have a little ketchup packaging for your fish sticks or whatever your french fries oh did I, I just i just broke my fork <laughs> Yeah, this is the kind of, is this plastic? Well, I don't wanna eat that. Whatever, is it your french fries, your, um, your, your fish sticks, your schnitzel. Here you have a little packet and you can see it's pretty resistant, but then if you go like this, whoop, up, it breaks and you can get ketchup. Ooh, very inventive. And same thing for your gyoza or your sushis. Look at this. A little packet of sweet sour sauce. You can boop. And aha, uh -huh. I am so hungry for this plastic free 
meal. Uh huh, uh huh. Look at that. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna drink that. <laughs> I had too much already. Today was not really a success. My water pods looked like slime, um, but my sauce packets didn't look too bad, right? Fortunately, making sustainable, edible, natural, and biodegradable packaging is something that many companies across the world are working on. And this gives me a lot of hope for the future of plastic alternatives. And personally, I cannot wait to eat my glass of water or eat my fork. Sounds like a crazy thing to say, right? Thank you for watching this video. This is my contribution to the Team Seas project. This project aims at raising $30 million to remove 13,000 tons or 30 million pounds, conversions, of plastic from the oceans, rivers, and beaches. Raising awareness about how plastic is damaging ecosystems and removing the plastic from our environment is a great action. And I totally suggest you to go check out the other videos of the Team Seas project. And I also invite you to support the campaign if you can afford it. But honestly, I want my contribution to be a bit nuanced and share with you my concerns. First of all, removing plastic from our environment is not the final solution to the plastic problem. It's like wiping the water on the floor while the tap is still open. Our efforts need to go further and extend to larger structural changes, both in our plastic production, but also in our lifestyle. And secondly, I'm not a big fan of the Ocean Cleanup Organization. Um, I'm sure that their involvement will help a lot the states of rivers that are being targeted by the project, but it is kind of a shady organization with not a very good reputation and a bad history of not collaborating with scientists. So for this reason, I will add to the description some links to organizations that I believe to be more trustworthy, just in case you want to donate to specific organizations. But I don't want you to think that I am against Team Seas. I, I want to support the project and I think the Team Seas project is a force for good. And I want to endorse a movement that leads to a net positive ecological benefit. I guess that my point is that beyond being a call to action, <laughs> Team Seas is a call for reflection and discussion. So let's think plastic, let's talk plastic, and yeah, let's do something about it all together. See you soon. Bye. Hi, AI. Oh, no. I broke my fork.